Should you self-publish a magazine or should you self-publish a book? When you're growing a personal brand in order to fuel your business, publishing this type of content is key. But which format is best? Well, it depends on your business goals. In this video, we're going to examine the pros and cons of self-publishing a magazine over self-publishing a book so that you can make the best decision for you and for your business. Your business is about to be richer. In this video, I'm going to share the pros and cons of self-publishing a magazine over self-publishing a book. Personally, I have published four books on my own and eight of my very own magazines, plus numerous magazines for my clients and business owners who want to use a magazine to grow their business. So I've learned a thing or two about the pros and cons. Let's get started. Let's jump right in and talk about the pros and cons of self-publishing a magazine or self-publishing a book in these three categories. I call it PDM, publishing, distribution, and monetization. Let's talk about the pros of self-publishing your own book. Pros of self-publishing your own book include that this is pretty much the gold standard if you want to be seen as the authority, as an expert in your field. Self-publishing a book can be very beneficial in helping you scale your business if you have a proven framework that you want to teach other people and turn into additional services like masterminds, coaching, consulting, training, memberships, things like that. So self-publishing a book is basically considered the gold standard in the expert business. Pretty much everybody has one. The market is flooded, which leads me to the con. The market is flooded, right? Pretty much everybody has a self-published book nowadays. It's really not that difficult to self-publish a book. However, it probably will take you longer than self-publishing a magazine. Now, the publishing process for a book, one of the cons is that if you don't have that teachable framework, you are going to have to have to hire a consultant to help you figure out what that is. Actually, what is your framework that you're teaching in your book and what are you gonna do with it? How are you going to communicate it in your book and how are you going to monetize it on the back end? So self-publishing a book can take a little bit more time and involve a bunch more people than just self-publishing a magazine. Now, a con to self-publishing a magazine over a book is that if reaching Amazon bestseller status with your book is important to you, that's not really something that you'll be able to do with self-publishing a magazine. Getting that bestseller status is something that there are companies that you can hire to help you do that, to help you get bestseller status on Amazon. Amazon is really not that complicated if you know the behind the scenes details about it, but getting a best, sell, best seller status on Amazon for a magazine, probably not going to happen. Now in a moment, we're going to cover the D and M of my PDM formula, with it, which is distribution and monetization of magazines and books. But before we do that, let's get into the question of the week. And the question of the week for you is, have you self-published a book or a magazine? Just leave a simple yes or no down in the comment section below. I'm curious to know if you are already going down the road in self-publishing. Okay, so let's talk about the D, distribution, and pros and cons of distributing your own book versus distributing your own magazine. Amazon KDP has worked out all of the kinks when it comes to self-publishing and distributing your own book. They make it really simple. What you'll need to do is hire a designer to help you lay out your book in the correct format that Amazon KDP wants. You upload your book onto the Amazon KDP website, push a button, presto, your book is now distributed on the internet. Very simple. Cons to this. This is the big reason why I do my own magazines. The cons to self-publishing with Amazon KDP is that you don't own the buyer contact information. The, the person that's buying your book is actually buying it from Amazon. So Amazon is going to sit on that contact information. They're not going to release to you the names, addresses, and emails of the people that buy your book. For me, this is a big reason why self-publishing a book isn't all that it's chalked up to be. Because monetizing 
your book or your magazine, the magic takes place on the back end. We're gonna talk a little bit more about monetization here in a couple minutes, but for me, distributing on Amazon KDP is a big down thumb con to self-publishing a book. Now, self-publishing a magazine. You can actually upload magazines onto Amazon KDP. Not that many people know about it. You upload it as an eight and a half by 11 paperback book. Is that the perfect solution? Not really. There are lots of other magazine publishing sites that allow you to print on demand and even ship on demand, just like Amazon does for your magazines. I'll have to do future videos about that. But there are companies that will allow you to do that and you will be able to keep track of the contact information. You'll be able to export out your emails, your mailing address, and, and the names of the people that subscribe to your magazine, and that is really important in distribution. A con to self-publishing a magazine and distributing it is that your print costs are going to be very similar to probably self-publishing uh, a book in this format. Not that much different, but it might cost you a little bit more in shipping your book just because of the oversize. Now, we're not talking about something that's gonna be tens of dollars, maybe a few cents, maybe a few dollars, depending on where you're shipping from and who you're shipping to, but just something for you to consider. Okay, now onto my favorite subject, the M in the PDM formula, monetization. What are some pros and cons of monetizing your book versus monetizing your self-published magazine? Let's talk about pros of monetizing a book. If you have that teachable framework, like I mentioned, and you're basing your book on the teachable framework, some monetization opportunities for you include consulting, coaching, training, a membership program, masterminds, professional speaking. The opportunities are endless if you have a unique process that you're teaching that helps people transform their lives, that solves a big problem for them and takes them from point A to point B. That needs to be the basis of your book so that you can monetize it. Now, that's pretty much where it ends. With a magazine, you can do all of those things all of the speaking, coaching, consulting, training, membership programs, you can do all of those things if you're building your list correctly. Plus, you can make money on brand deals, sponsorship, and advertising sales. Think about that. A lot of my clients, my magazine publishing clients, make money because they put ads in their magazine for their own programs. Maybe it's their mastermind, or they create ads for their consulting, or, they offer strategic partners, brand deals, and advertisers opportunities to take out ads in their magazine as well. So the opportunities become expanded, and I think more when you're monetizing a magazine versus monetizing a self-published book. These brand deals and advertising trades or sponsorships are really important because they can help you offset a lot of your marketing costs. You might actually be able to get the entire cost of your magazine production, design, distribution, shipping, all that stuff offset just by offering brand deals and advertising space to sponsors and contributors. Now that's an attraction marketing idea that I love. Just a quick recap, in this video, we talked about the pros and cons of self-publishing a magazine versus self-publishing a book. And I hope you gleaned at least one idea, one thing for you to think about that's going to help you get better at marketing and become a better business owner. If you did, make sure that you are subscribed to this video. I do release a new video every week on attraction marketing that's going to help you learn marketing. Now, if you learn marketing, you grow your business. So for that reason, I will see you on the next video.